Hello, boys and girls, my name is HotsST and welcome back to Bartless Factorio. Last time we built up this uh, red circuit factory, or we just translocated it from uh, down here, we will still have uh, two trains that uh, need to load um, more red circuits. Uh, and we have also moved uh, a waiting base around so that all uh, things related to green circuits, red circuits are basically up here. We also have waiting base for our copper and iron fields because they are also here in this area so we can reduce the travel time of the trains there as well especially if they have to deliver somewhere up here today however uh, we want to focus on something slightly different as mentioned in previous episodes in order to get more out of um, our base we have to optimize uh, which we did in the last few episodes by moving things around trying to shorten uh, the paths the trains have to take um, and also trying to uh, reduce the number of ingredients that we need to produce stuff like using productivity modules today however we want to focus on the other aspect of uh, getting more out of our base by expanding our base so that's the maybe the more obvious part you can produce more if you just put down more assemblers or as we call it in uh, this playthrough, factories that take up uh, a rather large square like this one. However, we should be a bit clever about it, uh, meaning we should figure out first uh, where we need to scale to uh, to reach the the most effect because i think uh, currently um let's put this on a on a 10 hour base currently what we are lacking is not necessarily uh, well in the end we want to have more science and if we look here green science that's what we produced the least amounts um, and i think in the last 10 hours we might not even have produced any ah here space science 13,000 so that's that's not much and I think green science that might have a, a, a different problem uh, why we only have produced 18 packs in the last 10 hours um, so I'm not that worried but basically looking through this the science pack that we are producing the least of are the yellow signs and then we have the space signs well red signs is also there but i don't worry too much about that because uh, that's pretty easy and if we if we look what we need for space signs we need satellites and rockets and those need blue circuits among other things and here we also need blue circuits so what we should look 
add is actually if we want to boost our science output we have to boost blue circuits and blue circuits production is down it's probably down because we messed with the uh, red and green circuits but let's have a look um what's the uh, what's the issue here oh we we, we we got a train delivery so that should then pick up the production um however we see um basically they are waiting for uh red circuits um yep and then one is is delivering there so probably it it will take a while until we have um, pumped up our red circuit production and from what you can see here is that's how i like to see it here the delivery stations both are blue which means we are just waiting on the train if a train is not sitting there so we are constantly delivering materials and hopefully uh, soon on on this end uh, we can see that the pickup stations are also green because they are getting trains coming there uh, not like in uh, this case ah now we also have a, a train coming there but the other case they could be uh, uh, blue is because they don't have enough materials in the chest if you have less than a thousand sitting in these three we say uh, dear train you don't have to come to this station because most likelihood you will sit there forever waiting for materials so we are basically um, waiting yeah he, here we can see it uh, this has a train limit of of zero and that's how we basically direct the trains to those stations that have the most uh, circuits to be picked up and that should uh, push things through now here we have a pickup station that has no train going to it so I am wondering do we need another train Because they they are all moving they are not waiting that's that's the important uh, uh, part here so they are all moving around they have stations where they can can pick up things so maybe another train for delivery would be okay um do we have no i think we used all our spare trains that we no longer need so let's let's add another delivery train here as well and then we will see what else uh, we need to do in order to uh, better improve or scale horizontally another thing that i occasionally see is that when a train is done unloading he is waiting to go for the fueling station but the station is not empty yet so let's see what we have we do have two stations here and by the looks of it the trains that we have in here they are just coming in loading 
and then trying to uh, to go out and of course if we have uh, high contention on the on the network the moving out might be a bit slow but they are not sitting here in these stations because their next station is not available but just because the pass is not free so i think we can address this by adding more stations and let's copy this part with the signal and we want to have it in in this area somewhere and unfortunately when i pasted the uh the factories in i added them a bit more towards the center so that basically here on the top or the bottom does not leave me with enough room to uh to add the stations and you can see even here it was a tight squeeze we could add uh more uh, here but i think that would then mess up a bit the the signaling so why not add uh, two additional stations here think we can do that this way without messing the uh the signaling too much and here we can see we're producing pretty well um we will look at the uh, production in a minute i added one more train we still see occasionally we have a free station so maybe even add yet another train for the delivery and run into one of these trains so uh i will head back up here um build the two new fueling station and then we can see about uh, adding more trains uh, and especially having a look at the production two trains unloading this is looking good so let's actually have a look at uh, the production and we will look uh, only in the last 10 minutes because uh, um, before that I crafted some uh, red circuits, advanced circuits uh, manually. So we want to not dilute the picture with, with those numbers. But let's first have a look at green circuits. And there we can see we are consuming more than we are producing. So probably we still have a bit, a uh, few green circuits spare so that this works. But in the long run that that will not do. And we can see we even had uh, higher consumptions here so probably we will have to look into producing more green circuits how are we looking red circuit uh, here production we are pretty stable uh, with uh, 650 per minute that's 10 circuits per second and we are consuming less than we are producing we we always have this this pattern here so for the moment i think with the red ones we are looking okay now big question how about the blue ones um we are consuming more than we are producing which is not good 
And you can see we have these downtimes. And I would guess that if we go down here and look where our trains are, green circuits. That's what I suspected when we saw the, the graph for the, the green ones, uh, especially here now plummeting. Uh, so basically, we're not producing uh, enough. And that's something that I want to change, but it will have to wait to the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one where we uh, scaled horizontally by adding more trains. And next time we will continue uh, the horizontal scaling with more green circuits. All right, until then, goodbye.